Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerd scum here once again. And today I want to take a minute to talk to you guys about Batman's Grave number one by Ellis, Hitch, Nolan, and Sinclair. Right on, guys. So this book's basic plot unfolds as you see these two police officers with their baby who have gone to see a movie. And they were like, oh, it was a movie about clowns, so the baby should have liked it. Turns out they went to see It because they don't know what It is. Whatever. It's a kind of funny scene. They start to go down an alleyway, and you have, like, the classic, like, parents and child going down the alley. They get stopped by, a, like, a group of thugs who know that they're police officers, and that's why they're there. And then just as they're about to be murdered, of course, Batman shows up and saves the day. Then as he's on his way back home, Alfred tells them that it's another one of those nights where there's someone who's calling in a suspicious death to the GCPD, and they've been on hold for about four hours. So Batman goes over there and meets with the people in the kind of the tenement apartment and find out, you know, they kind of take care of each other and stuff like that. And this guy comes out of his house at least once a day, and he hasn't been out in like three days. So Batman goes in and finds this guy laying dead on his bed, like perfectly dressed, perfectly clean, the apartment's perfectly clean, and the walls are just covered with like pictures of Batman. So from there, Batman like goes back, he calls in GCPD and gets them to come send like a bus out to clean the place up and collect the body, and then he goes back home and finds Alfred sitting there with his shoes off, drinking a glass of whiskey, and just being like, oh, Master Bruce, this is such bullshit. Every night we do the same thing, and you're going to die because you're the only one in Gotham City who doesn't realize that you're in a war zone. Um, and Bruce just kind of shrugs it off uh, and then basically is like, I have to get to work. Essentially, he has like a danger room holodeck type setup where he can scan a crime scene and then project that crime scene over this room so that he can kind of go through it in his own time. And we really dive into like Batman doing his detective thing and as he's like going through this and trying to figure out who the killer was and like where the killer would be and like why they did this, like he comes to find out that like he begins to believe that this killer was this man's friend. And all of a sudden he gets an idea and it causes him to like rush back to the crime scene and he goes in and he throws up the bed and he finds like pulls up the floorboards and finds that the killer is still under the floorboards and has been there for three days. And he killed this person because he was lonely, and it was his friend. And he, his friend was about to go back to work at the DA's office, and he didn't want to lose him. And that is where this book ends. All right, guys, so as for the writing, it's Warren Ellis, so it's absolutely awesome. Like, I really love the fact that this is probably the most detective book we've gotten out of Batman in a quite a long time, despite the fact that, like, Detective Comics has been awesome, but the detective side of that has been a little bit downplayed. I also really appreciate uh, Warren Ellis's kind of focusing in on the tragic nature of Batman, which we do a lot, but very rarely does the story really focus on the fact that not only is Batman waging a war that is unwinnable, but it is a war that he will lose and that it will eventually take his life. That is just the inevitable conclusion, the logical conclusion, and Alfred sees this as every day he goes to tend Mr. and Mrs. Wayne's graves where they prepared Bruce's gravestone because they wanted him like to be laid rest to rest next to them, they prepared it at the same time, so all three are there. So every day as Alfred goes out and kind of like tends to the grounds, he has to be faced with like this idea that Bruce will someday die as Batman. And it's just beautiful and awesome, great detective story. The writing is just fantastic. I really, really loved it. So for the art in this book, it is, once again, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Hitch, Sinclair, and Nolan are a perfect team to create a moody, lived-in, vibrant, very kind of, um, you know, familiar Gotham that is still very visually interesting. Uh, the way that Batman is drawn is absolutely fantastic. It's interesting that they decided to go with no trunks. I guess they really wanted to like push home that this is not a normal continuity book, but the design on Batman is absolutely wonderful. There's this great shot of the Batcave, as always, just like the multiple layers. It's fantastic. I don't really know what else to say about it, guys. The artwork is awesome, and combined with the writing, it makes this just an awesome book. So as I said, guys, the writing's good, the artwork is good, the overall plot, everything about the book is absolutely great. So if you're interested in Batman, if you like Warren Ellis, I highly recommend this book. It's going to be out tomorrow. Definitely go and pick it up. Put it on your pull list. It's going to be awesome. So once again, thank you guys very much. If you like this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Nerd Scum, out.